So this Evolve New York site is off I-81, but is it a good location? Well, let's take a look. Welcome to another Coffee and Kilowatts road edition this time, so I've made sure not uh, to be caught out. Even if Starbucks is closed, I've brought my own. Grab your coffee for yourself, and we will talk about Evolve New York, the new DC fast charging program that is going to electrify New York State, we hope. Okay, so why am I at some random uh, foreign auto store? Well, uh, this is the site in uh, just south of Syracuse off I-81 where one of the Evolve New York uh, fast charging stations will go. So the Evolve NY uh, program is a state level um, fast charging program which uh, will have at least uh, 250 kilowatt stations from what I understand. Uh, at the moment uh, it's had a bit of a false start. They were supposed to get a bunch in by the end of 2019 and that just came and went, never happened. I've talked about it a little bit before but essentially there's been no uh, firm site so we haven't had a whole lot to talk about other than the concept of what they're trying to do. But the idea is to put uh, you know, fast charging infrastructure for electric vehicles along key routes in uh, New York, certainly along the thruway uh, in upstate New York. And then I-81, which is where I am right now, is another uh, key route. So that's been pretty underserved, really. You have in the north of uh, the state, I-81 at the border with Canada. You have a, a single fast charging site, 50 kilowatts, but it was old equipment, so that's one of them. Um, we've never had anything in Syracuse, which has always been a bugbear of uh, mine and upstate New York EV drivers. Anyone who drives through this area seems like an obvious place at the intersection of 81 and 90, but never had anything here. Um, so this one will be a useful station. Um, it's not so much really 490, that's going to be more for the throughway stops when those come along, but there's some uh, argument over whether those will be sooner or probably later because of the renovation that is going on uh, across the throughway uh, service plazas. So there's uh, probably some delay on those we're likely to see. But these uh, locations popped up, there are seven in all across the state. Uh, the first one is going to go in at LaGrangeville, New York. In, uh, it's closer to Poughkeepsie from what I remember, and that's going to be at a Topps supermarket. The ones on I-81 will seem to be at these Mirabito or Mirabito, which is like one of the, uh, the kind of local gas station change and uh, convenience store chains by the sounds of it. So those will be standard kind of, you know, snacks and uh, rest break stops. This one is one of the uh, less likely ones. Uh, you wouldn't have picked this location if uh, if you'd kind of driven by it for a fast charge. So as you can see, for an auto shop, here's an EV that we can't charge just yet. There's nothing, lots of space for equipment there. Whether or not they're gonna let you use their restroom, I don't know, but as you can see, there's nothing else happening down here. old Jag. Not to say there aren't some interesting cars here. Perhaps it'll be installed over here, but not much going on. Doubt it would want to be anywhere near the main building because that would block up their facilities. Uh, I would expect around given the location, four times 150 kilowatt stations. So useful for that north-south route especially, but also coming, you know, west-east. Um, if you need a charge and Herkimer has been a problem, then uh, this could be a good station to just kind of cut your losses at those locations for Electrify America and try for uh, Evolve New York. And one final thought that I forgot to mention whilst I was over in Syracuse, is the wider nature of uh, state level DC fast charging initiatives. Uh, some of those are gonna be very crucial to expanding infrastructure, certainly around here in New England, up in uh, New Hampshire, there's some key routes that need to be um, bridged up there with DC fast charging stations. Uh, Maine has done a good job in that respect, New Hampshire less so, um, and Vermont has slightly older uh, EVgo stations which lack redundancy and are missing in a couple of areas. So there, there's a gap to be filled there at a lot of states. 
Um, one example where I don't think it's been done that great is uh, down in Pennsylvania, where the, the diesel gate funds that were given at a state level there seem to have been spent on suburban charging in areas like Pittsburgh, Philly, um, and places that don't really, you know, they can certainly use those, but uh, they have a lot of fast charging already. So it seems a bit odd to put them in those places when places like State College, Altoona, a bunch of different uh, areas on some of the turnpike routes there um, to bridge the state, to cross the state, uh, could do with some uh, equipment there. Electrifier America again has bridged the gap on I-80 um, and along the Pennsylvania Turnpike to some extent but you know the reliability can be an issue if... so that's where the states can step in as Evolve NY seems to be doing if they get it all together and uh, put their their funds to good use there to bridge the state to allow travel through the state and bring electric vehicle drivers through. What do you think really? Turn it over to you. Is your state looking at uh, installing fast charging? Does it need it desperately? Would it just be an addition to what's already there? Obviously this varies greatly. You know, if, uh, if you're on the East Coast, we have pretty solid infrastructure. California obviously is uh, the leader there. So you have, you see a lot going in over there, but some of the states, you know, really could use some uh, additional funds and additional support at state level to, to build those programs out and to support EV drivers. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear what your state's doing if you know. Um, if you'd like me to cover other state uh, level initiatives, just pop them down there and uh, we'll do a deeper dive on other coffee and kilowatts. It's an odd kind of choice, especially given that I know a lot of thought has gone into some of these uh, locations. Maybe they're just trying to get this up uh, alongside a bunch of others that they have in the works, just so that it's here. But really, if you're stopping here at this uh, ST4 in Auto, you're going to be stopping at the ST4 in Auto. So uh, well, it's definitely going to be a welcome addition because Syracuse has been crying out for this. But uh, it's an odd choice of first place, I have to it's say. It's also worth noting that the the route from Syracuse down to Philadelphia is one of the priority regional routes for Electrify America's Cycle 2 investment. So there's, you know, potential for this to uh, kind of expand quite quickly now. We've been waiting a long time for Syracuse to get any kind of fast charging infrastructure. The closest you have is 70 miles east is Herkimer, and then about 50 miles west is the Waterloo site riddled with problems we've had all kinds of uh, ups and downs at those sites but you know they do make it possible to traverse the state now so you have that um, but this will be a welcome addition other than obviously the location being a little odd maybe you'll just use it as a bump up maybe they build something around it maybe something else is going in here that i don't know about but uh you know at the moment on the surface it looks slightly odd if welcome as a location so there you go that's uh, another coffee and kilowatts in the bag talking about evolve new york and uh, the beginnings of what hopefully will make new york a much more friendly place to travel in an electric vehicle thanks for watching uh enjoy your coffee and we'll see you in the next one cheers